With a knife in his hand, a robbery suspect only gave a Tarpon Springs pharmacy clerk two seconds to hand over his oxycodone pills behind the counter. And two seconds was all it took for three employees and a customer to try to take him down. And the whole thing was caught on tape. Here's our Serena Fazan tonight. 30-year-old Roy Blair looks pretty beat up in his mugshot from the Pinellas County Jail. That's because he was by the very people he was allegedly trying to rob at the Anklo Pharmacy in Tarpon Springs. Take a look at this surveillance video. You can see a man who police say is Blair jump over the counter with a knife in his hand. The owner told me he was after one thing, Oxycontin, but her employees and a customer in the store weren't about to let him get his hands on any. The next sequence of shots shows a customer reaching over to grab the suspect and the pharmacy technician, 23-year-old Jordan Bennett, trying to hold him down. You can't see this in the video, but police say the 23-year-old employee was stabbed in the neck and gouged in the eyes. He still held on while another employee took a baseball bat to the suspect's bottom over and over again. Police say he still managed to flee out of the pharmacy and was found a short time later in a ditch. He was in his underwear. It was business as usual at Anclote Pharmacy today, minus Jordan Bennett. He's home recovering from his wounds. The owners did not want to talk on camera, but did tell me this about Jordan. He is part of our pharmacy family. We are so thankful to him. We feel that he saved our lives. He knew exactly how to handle him. They went on to say, this is a family-oriented pharmacy. We don't want our loyal customers to be scared. This was an isolated incident. But if it does happen again, they would not hesitate to protect their pharmacy. And Jordan Bennett was taken to the hospital last night, but he was released and he is recovering. He actually wanted to come to work today, but his employers insisted he stay home. The suspect, Roy Blair, remains behind bars.